double tall extra hot soy latte. That's my order. Complicated? I don't think so, but I'll find out today when I become a Starbucks barista. I'm a once a dayer at Starbucks. I'm gonna admit it. I feel bad for saying it out loud. At three o'clock, it's latte time. Bring it on. Can this coffee connoisseur cut it as a barista for a day? I've been a Starbucks store manager for two and a half years. Our baristas are multitasking masters. They serve people on the register, they you know, set up the pastry case, so they're, they're visual merchandisers as well as salespeople. Her first task, the till. I think that's the easy part. The hard part is the making the coffee. You just have to have a good memory, which I do. Guess what our code is for Americano? A? Yes! Baristas definitely need to be friendly, they need to have an entrepreneurial spirit in order to own each transaction, and they need to definitely have a commitment to quality. Oh. Italian roast <laughs> here, yeah. Try not to touch the top of the cup, too. Gotcha. Hello! Hi, how are you? Hi, can I get a tall, skinny, half-sweet, no-foam, extra-hot caramel macchiato? Okay, so tall. We had a customer that was pretty difficult for Melanie. Where's the half under? Is there a box? Half. Mm -hmm. Non-fat? Remembering all the modifications as the customer said it, and then trying to write it down in the Starbucks lingo that we use. A little bit of a challenge for her. And to be honest, I'm just trying to keep up. Perfect. You order that all the time? Every day? Yeah? Every day. Really? Five. Grande, non-fat, no foam, no water, chai latte. <laughs> so when it comes to lingo, I can tell Melanie's the Starbucks regular because she's pretty natural at getting all of the drinks and the names and the calling it. Pam, what's your favorite pastry? Oat fudge bar. And hands what's down. the Hands down? That would be my biggest downfall, <laughs> I think. One too many cake pops, I think. Those are under 200 calories. Oh, right. So if I eat 10, that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> now the tough part, making the drinks. Can't have my hair in a latte. That's disgusting. We need you to load up our espresso hopper. OK. What's the first drink I get to make? We're going to test you with your drink. Oh. Yeah. Then I'm going to steam your milk. Make it hot. Extra hot. Extra. Automated machines make our experience at Starbucks much more A little more bit pleasurable. easier. I apologize for my high maintenance order. I'm saying it right now. I will from now on order Americanos. <laughs> for my hand. Yeah, that's what we, we sleeve. sleeve. Always use a sleeve. Like okay. Excellent. So Melanie's doing okay pouring coffee. She needs to remember to put a sleeve on it though for her sake and the customers. With her soy latte situation under control, Melanie tries her hand at some whipped cream. <laughs> that is some ugly, uh, oh, some ugly whipped cream. That's a fail. We like to tease our new baristas when they screw up and tell them that they have to drink their mistakes. That's a great rule. <laughs> Still good. So, can Melanie cut it as a Starbucks barista? So Pam, did I earn my apron? Hired me, fire me, what do you think? We're gonna work on your whipping skills, oh. but you're hired. Awesome, thank you. I look good in green, I think. I would definitely hire Melanie after her trial run today, mostly because we hire people based on their personality and who they are, not necessarily their barista skills, because we know we train people very well, so we can always work on that. Is it what I thought it would be? No, being on the other side of the bar making the drinks is a completely different world. I will enjoy my coffee that much more because they put so much love and effort into it. Paul vanilla latte. Thank you. Thank you. Turns out I'm better at drinking coffee than making it. Sproudshaw Community College's Higher Learning has been brought to you by Sproudshaw Community College at Sproudshaw.com.